Man, I'm really stressed out. School's coming up. I feel you, man. You know one good way to relieve stress? What's that? Art! Art? I'm scared. Don't worry. Art's nothing to be afraid of. Let's go do some art. Okay. So, oh, why are we wearing tight clothes under these clothes? And there's classical music playing. Because we're interpretive dancing! Grass. I'm like a number five combo. And the waters of the ocean. So how's your artwork coming along? Pretty good. I think it really captures the soul of the artist and demonstrates the underlying meaning of. I see how uh, you use perspective to a great yeah, degree. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very proud of this drawing. <laughs> How's it coming with you? Well, my story's almost done. What about yours? Oh, mine's done. Oh, let's hear it. Uh, some guy got some pencils. Yeah, pencils. For his son. And uh, they got wet in the rain. So his mom yelled at the guy. You always get the pencils when I come see you. You get the pencils. And the guy was like, listen, I come home expecting a hot dinner and I get nothing so I have to sit and saw because the pencils are wet and the kid all along did not want pencils he wanted pens that it was, was great like a job. metaphor here wait let just let me finish mine up mm -hmm. okay you want to read mine yes once upon a time there was a man his name was there was a man there was a man went to see a man, but the man he saw could not be seen. For there was a man was a man whose name was not the man, whose man-man could not be had. The end. That was beautiful. Thank you. Flanders, your story was so beautiful. I got an idea. What's that? We should make a movie about it. A movie? A movie. We should become directors. Directors. And writers. And writers. I'll send our idea to Paramount. Let's go. Let's get we gotta type this up. Move, I mean type, 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 type that. I'm trying. Type the story. I want I want decent character work. Decent character work. You think Paramount makes movies for little babies? No, no. I'm gonna type it. Type faster. Ah, and done. I got good feelings about this Paramount deal. Yeah. I hope it goes good. Ooh, the mail, mail, mail. Let me see. Let's see. Um, probation notice. Courtroom summons. Bill. Bill. Oh, it's from Paramount. Paramount. Let's see. Okay. All right. Box from Paramount. Let's see what it is. It's a boot. I think that's a good sign. Me too. Flanders, you know what this means? We're making a movie. We're making a movie. All right. And his name. Uh, Mr. Kosuke, we're ready for you. Okay. Alright, so you're this, John. In this scene, you're an uh, ex Navy Vietnam Marine coming back from the Army to find that his mom hit his cat, and you need to find that cat or else it will die in seven and a half weeks. Now, John, we really need to see the agony and the pain that Vietnam professions go through on a daily basis. I want to feel like popsicles being jabbed in my stomach every time I hear the word yes. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Your lines? They're on the sheet. Back in Vietnam, I had a cat. Name? His name was Twinkletoe. Huh? Twinkletoe was a good cat. 
he liked to play with baseballs or mittens. Until one of them goddamn Viet Cong Zay. John, my opinion. That's beautiful. Your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> You're hired. So it's uh, day one of shooting. We're hoping to get a lot in. Hopefully, some good stuff. Well, hopefully, we got us coming. So we can film. Alright, everybody, ready on set. Cue sound. Cue right. video. Ready? Action. Eat that cactus. No, I'm not gonna eat a cactus. But you have to, it's a crucial point in the story. You can't make me do anything. You gotta eat this cactus. But we don't even have any A1 sauce. Those were the troubles of Vietnam. Don't mention Vietnam. <laughs> Pastor, I've come to ask you something. What is it, my son? See, me and Flanders have started the movie business, and I don't know which direction to take it. Mm. Pastor, you see, we hired a new beautiful actor. He has such grace on screen, but he doesn't want to st skip, stay to the story. What do you think I should do, Pastor? You must go to the fountain of infinity and bathe yourself in the waters. Pastor, but my legs are broken. Then you must go to a hospital first. <laughs> but my hospitals are broken. <laughs> uh, the other day I saw Joe through the bushes. He was yelling at John. Listen to me now. This is my movie. This is my movie. You're just a movie. I'm the movie here. You're not the movie. Everyone says that I'm the movie. I can't believe you. Go home and die. Die. We're alive. We're alive. Hmm. I just seems like he's getting worse every day. I, this movie's driving him insane. That wayward sheep shall not weep in them pastures. Great words as always. Amen, Twelve. I have sinned. Good son, what have you done? I have... I've been unholy to Twelve. Mm. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you've made us tape your hands and legs together. Are you, are you gonna behave? No. I will break free of scotch. Why scotch? Why? John is a terrible actor and you don't even care about the movie. I'm gonna eat my skin so I can be free. Okay, Joe, I think we can let you back on set. I don't like this. I'm sorry, it's what the judge ruled. Alright, well, let's get back to filming this movie. 
Yo, we finally finished filming the movie. Finally! Alright!